Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Patterson here again with another Illustrator CC 2014 release video. I need to stop saying that because it's a big mouthful. Anyway, today I'm not showing you a tutorial as such. I'm showing you um, a little tip that you guys can use when it comes to drawing your vectors or drawing your vectors on a piece of paper, scanning them in and bringing them into Illustrator. Now, if you're any good at Illustrator, you'll know that um, this is all, well, you'll know about the image trace tool which is a really handy tool uh, probably the best tool for any sort of hand drawers but a lot of you guys have been saying you've had problems with this uh, that it doesn't come out exactly the way you like it now because you have we have to understand here is that when we scan in an image uh, and bring it into Illustrator it stays as the image and I'm going to just show you this at this moment in time I'm just going to go to file new and I'm going to go create a new document I'm going to go over here and go to my scans and I've got a few scans here. Uh, what am I going to scan in? Let us scan in this. So we're going to go ahead and scan in this. Uh, not scan in, trace this. So I've just dragged this image that I've scanned from my um, printer, which is at 300 dpi, um, which means that we get a lot of detail in here. And it makes it a lot easier for Illustrator to trace it more accurately. Uh, I'm going to image trace this. Now, if we highlight it, we get the image trace button at the top. But the problem is that when you click it, you get this. You get the sort of outline and not much else. And this is because we haven't fine-tuned the settings. We can go ahead and go down all these different things here. But they aren't that good. Um, we need to create our own sort of preset or just work with the flow. So today we're just going to work with the flow. I'm going to go ahead and... Bring this to the side here so it's vertically up like so. I'm just going to make sure that's vertical because it's getting on me nerves. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Score. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go to Window and I'm going to go down to Image Trace. And you'll get this little Image Trace box pop up here. I'm just going to bring them over there. This is the Image Trace box. And it should look like this, and you should have advance. Twill open the advance box. We need that. Making sure that you highlighted your image, so it's not actually traced yet. It's just a rastered image. Uh, go and press preview. And this is going to give us a live preview of what's going on. Okay, so the problem that we have here is that we, we aren't getting the detail that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and play with these. If we bring down the threshold, that sort of takes the value of black and brings it down a lot. So we need to bring this up a tiny bit. So we can get all them at this moment. The problem is we've got a lot of these joins here. So we're going to go to the corners and we're going to go less corners here. We don't want that many. We want, it's a very rounded shape that we want. Paths, so we want to bring the paths up a tiny bit as well. And the noise, we want to bring that down. Because it says it wants to reduce noise, but we don't want that. Um, we want the noise to be like all there, basically. And we want to ignore white. This is a very good feature within Illustrator it makes it a lot easier bring the threshold down and we'll see what we get we're just playing with these sort of different values here seeing what we get if we like them we don't want any corners but we can still play with the corners to see what we get I don't want any corners really because I want uh, the dots and stuff to be like dots nothing nothing more nothing less but I'm trying to get a good sort of look at what I should do here. But that's looking more like the original image. And all we do there is that now we've got this, we go up to the top here and press expand. And when we've expanded it, we should just get this out of it. Now, if you haven't expanded it with the uh, ignore white option, you'll get a load of white bits in it. Uh, but this is ignored the white, so all the black is remaining in here. So that is now vectorized and we can go ahead and do whatever we want. So that is just one way we can do it with an illustrator. I'm going to show you not a different way, but a different image. If I can find a good one. This is a good one. This is a splash art U. I'm just going to scale this up like so. Okay, so if we go ahead and press preview again on the default preset, it will just go ahead and do the default thing. We're going to go ahead and make the threshold less. Uh, and we're going to go paths more. Uh, the more paths that we have, the more sort of detail it's going to have. We want quite a bit of detail in this. Corners, we don't want a corner. We want it to all be sort of, you know, flowing. Uh, noise, bring that right down because we want all that detail in here as well. 
Okay, and then we're going to threshold and we're going to bring that further down as well and threshold. Now we've reached a problem. That looks cool, it looks really old, the threshold's down, but we have to bring it up. So I'm holding shift and pressing the space bar button. Not the space bar button, the arrow key up. Uh, and that looks good at 50. I'm really liking that. Uh, I'm going to press ignore white again. And then I'm going to go up to expand. And there we go, we have our image traced sort of vector bit here and that looks old and cool I sort of like that I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here beats going around with a pen tool I think some things you will have to go around with a pen tool but in the way that I work you don't really have to let's try it with this okay so we've got a typographic piece here it doesn't look too good at the moment but when once it's in Illustrator we can make it look great uh, I've actually done it before this over here and I've changed it around a little bit Okay, so we've got this, click on the image, press preview, and then I'm gonna press ignore white at the start. Makes it a lot easier. Awesome, so same problem. We've got all these corner bits, we don't want them. On the threshold down, we get no, nothing there. We might have to increase the threshold a bit every now and then. Um, if, we, if we lower the paths, basically we get this horrible mess. Um, but we wanna get the detail. That's what we want, the detail. Bring the noise right down. We can play with the threshold here. We'll go to 50 on the threshold. See what we get. We need it a bit more, so we'll go to 75. And I'm sort of, it's getting there. It is getting there. We will go ahead and bring this up a tiny bit to 80. And it's getting there again. We're going to go ahead and push this all the way up to 130 to see what we get bit too much is go to 100 let's go down to 95 something's gone weird in there let's go down to 90 and see what happens something's still gone weird in the air 97 now if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm trying to work out what the heck is going on let's go to 95 100 awesome so that is basically that bring this down a bit we can simplify the paths we've got no corners we've got all that let's expand that i'm liking that so far and bring this up and that is basically the typographic piece there i'm going to show you one more time because uh, it's it's hard to sort of understand what i'm doing here uh, if you've never done it before but these images have been scanned and cropped uh, cropped in. Okay, let's do it with this one. This should be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and create a new artboard in this area here and bring this image over. And we will go ahead and preview this. Um, it's going to take a long time because it's a bigger image with more stuff in it. So I'll be surprised. Oh, wow, that is it's looking all right. Uh, let's go down to line art here and let's see what it brings up. Probably won't look good at all. So we'll see what happens. Come on, computer. Flipping A. Oh, that does not look good at all. Screw that. Let's go back to default. Should be a bit quicker. Okay, so if you're doing it with a drawing and stuff, obviously we might have to bring up the threshold a tiny bit. Um, and it's going to take a long time for it to keep processing this. The noise, we need to bring that down because we want the detail. That's right, we've got the detail there. Corners, I mean, we can bring it down to 50 to see what happens. Um, but because it's a larger image, it's gonna take a longer progress time. Amazing, that looks good. Okay, ignore the white. We're gonna to go to paths. We're gonna actually increase the paths um, to 90. Uh, so we can get more of the actual detail. And then we're gonna expand this. And that looks good. And I'm liking that so far, but the problem is um, we have to go and delete all this stuff here, I reckon, because there's so much um, other things. I'm just looking for this bit in the middle, which is sort of a doodle I created. Um, but that is basically how you image trace into Illustrator for like hand-drawn things. Um, I've done a video beforehand of doing this, um, and it 
it worked and it, it was for like images and stuff which you can do to, do to make yourself vectored um, which is a very easy way of vectorizing yourself but um, if you've got a scanner I just encourage you to go and use it um, if you're one of those designers who doesn't draw anything uh, because you like to have everything in, to, in Illustrator then you're seriously limiting yourself um, and, I'd, and you're sort of trying to say something here but it's not coming out um, you're limiting yourself, but not only that, you, you're sort of wrecking yourself as well because uh, you can draw some amazing things if you just keep drawing and working out what you can and can't do in Illustrator. Now, that's just a, a weird drawing that can go into sort of any sort of thing that you want. But um, in doing this, you're helping yourself save a lot of design time and you're having a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.